the stochastic indicator is one of the most commonly used technical analysis indicators used by traders. Once you know how to use it correctly, the stochastic indicator can be a powerful tool to help you determine changes in momentum. One of the most common mistakes that traders make is that they read the stochastic indicator signals the same way regardless of market condition. You see, you can't just blindly apply the indicator without taking into account the market condition. You need to apply a specific type of stochastic trading strategy when the price is trending and another specific type of stochastic trading strategy when the price is range bound. If you misinterpret the underlying market condition, the same stochastic oscillator value can translate into a different signal. And that is why most Forex traders fail when they use the stochastic indicator. They simply apply this indicator in the same manner without taking into account the underlying market condition. Before I go on to talk more about the stochastic oscillator, I would appreciate it if you could take three seconds of your time to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. There are a ton of Forex videos on our channel which are designed to help you become a better trader. I also have a free day trading guide which you can download via the link in the description below. So what is the stochastic oscillator? How does it work? Well, the stochastic oscillator is a momentum indicator that compares where price closes relative to the price range over a set period of time. It displays two lines, the main line percent %K and the second line percent %D, which represents a moving average of percent %K. Traders typically use two types of stochastic oscillators, the fast stochastic and the slow stochastic. The fast stochastic, as the name suggests, reacts fast to price and generates many signals. In a market where the price is trending strongly, the fast stochastic will result in many false signals that results in losses. To address this issue, the slow stochastic oscillator was developed. The slow stochastic oscillator helps to smoothen the noise in the market and replaces the percent %K line with the percent %D line and replaces the percent %D line with a 5-day moving average of percent %D. The slow stochastic oscillator was designed to reduce volatility, but in a strong trending market, it suffers the same problem as the fast stochastic oscillator. It produces many false signals. The stochastic oscillator comes with the standard 1433, but other commonly used settings include 533 and 833. Depending on your trading style, you have to decide what kind of settings suit you better. Using low values for the stochastic indicator will make the indicator very sensitive to small price changes. It will offer a lot of signals, but also comes with a lot of market noise that use many false signals. Using high values for the stochastic indicator will make it less sensitive to market noise. As the indicator is smoothened, it will generate lesser signals and you will enjoy higher accuracy. Now, you might be wondering how to choose between high and low values. If you want a higher number of signals when trend trading, then adopt lower values on the stochastic indicator. If you are a swing trader who wants to capture the major swings in the market, then using high values on the stochastic indicator will help you eliminate market noise and focus on the main swings. A common mistake made by most traders when they use an indicator is that they look for the perfect setting, thinking that trading will be easy once they unlock the secret combination. In reality, there isn't one. You have to know your trading style and backtest different settings based on the instruments you are trading and the time frame you are focusing on. I prefer to use the stochastic indicator 833 on a higher time frame but feel free to play around and see what works for you. Now, let me show you how to use the stochastic indicator. The most common way to use it is as an entry signal by looking at it from an overbought or oversold standpoint. If you have read trading books about this, these books will typically teach you that a buy signal of occurs when the stochastic moves below the 20 level and then crosses back above the dead 20 level. 
the 20 levels, otherwise known as the oversold area. The opposite is also true for a sell signal. When the oscillator moves above the 80 level and then crosses below that 80 level, that qualifies as a sell signal. Again, the 80 level is otherwise known as the overbought area. This might sound really simple and a great way to trade. Unfortunately, the reality is that this strategy only works during range bound market. In a trending market, this strategy could lead to big losses as the price can continue to stay overbought or oversold for a long period of time. In a range bound market, using the stochastic indicator is ideal and usually generates good signals. However, in a trending market, it tends to generate a lot of false signals. Another misconception when it comes to the concept of overbought and oversold is that price will immediately reverse because it is overbought or oversold. The stochastic indicator actually shows momentum and just because price is in the overbought region doesn't mean that it can't stay in the overbought region for an extended period of time. When the stochastic is above the 80 mark, it does not mean that price will reverse immediately and start falling. Rather, it means that the upward momentum is strong. A high stochastic value means that the price is able to close near the high and price is pushing higher. It shows that the momentum is strong and you should not attempt to take short the instrument. You can observe this on every chart. As price enters an overbought area during a strong trend, it stays overbought for a long period of time. You don't want to be in a position where you are short and the price keeps trending up for a long time. A smarter way to use the stochastic indicator would be to recognize that there is a strong upward trend and look to ride the momentum. After all, the easy money is always made trading with the trend and momentum rather than against it. Earlier, I covered the most common way of using the stochastic indicator via the overbought and oversold concept. Right now, I want to show you the second most common way to use the stochastic oscillator. It involves using the crossover between these stochastic lines. A buy signal is generated when the percent %K line crosses the percent %D line. Conversely, a sound signal is generated when the percent %K line crosses below the percent %D line. Again, before I show this to you, I want to reiterate that these signals are generally accurate only during a range bound market. It does not work effectively when we are in a strong trending market. You can, however, still use the stochastic oscillator crossover signals as a way to enter into an existing trend. For example, if you determine that the market is in an uptrend, you can focus only on trading the crossover bullish signals. You shouldn't be looking at any bearish crossover signals since the market trend is up. To determine the trend, you can use the concept of market structure and this is spelled out in our free day trading guide which you can download via the link in the description below. The opposite is also true. If you see a crossover sell signal in a downtrend, you can make use of the signal to enter short and write the trend down. You should be ignoring any buying signs since the trend is down. The third way to use this stochastic indicator is to look for divergence between the price and the oscillator. This is a concept that is often overlooked and not taught by others, so pay close attention. Now you might ask, what is a divergence? Well, a divergence occurs when the price action differs from what the stochastic indicator is saying. In other words, the momentum isn't reflected in price despite being reflected in the indicator. This is an early sign of a reversal. There are two types of divergences that you need to know, classic and hidden divergence. A classic divergence occur when price forms a lower low, but the stochastic oscillator forms a higher low or when price forms a higher high but the indicator forms a lower high. When you see a divergence, it is an early indication that a reversal could be underway. 
Do note, however, there is still an early indication and more confirmation is needed to validate that the trend is indeed reversing. Let me show you my favorite way to trade with a stochastic indicator. I first determine the main trend of the instrument with a 200-day simple moving average. I will only trade the classic divergence in the direction of the 200-day moving average. This also means that I ignore any divergences. They are not in direction of the 200-day moving average. To clarify further, I search for divergences on the lower side of the stochastic when price is above the 200-day moving average. And when price is below the 200-day moving average, I look for divergences on the upper side of the indicator. Another tip I have for you is to trade this on the H1 time frame or higher so that you can get higher quality signals. The lower time frame has a lot of market noise and thus produces bad signals in general. You could also look at the H4 or day one time frames for signals. The second type of divergence is hidden divergence. If you are a trend trader, then hidden divergence can be a very powerful tool to have in your arsenal. Hidden divergences indicate that momentum is returning into the main trend and therefore helps you enter a trend continuation trade before the market resumes its main trend. Although it's a high probability pattern, most traders do not know this or fail to spot them in real time. When trading hidden divergences using the stochastic indicator, you want to look for higher lows in price but lower stochastic values in an uptrend. In a downtrend, you want to look for lower highs in price and higher stochastic values. Here's an example of what I mean. Pay close attention to this chart. In this chart, price is making lower highs indicating that there is downward momentum. However, if you look at the stochastic, it shows that it is making a higher high. This is how hidden divergence looks like. As you can see on the charts, several bearish hidden divergence occur and this indicates that sellers were still in control. When applying hidden divergences, do remember to determine the main trend and only use it in the direction of the main trend. As mentioned earlier, hidden divergence is meant to be used as a trend continuation tool. So do not simply trade every single hidden divergence that occurs on a chart you have to take into account the main trend when applying them. The last way to use the stochastic oscillator is to pay close attention to when the indicator crosses the 50 level. When the indicator crosses above the 50 level, it indicates buying pressure. Conversely, when the indicator crosses below the 50 level, it indicates selling pressure. This could form part of your analysis in the helping you decide whether to buy or sell. It should, however, not be your entire analysis. It is a simple way of using the indicator, but yet most traders often forget about it. It is perhaps one of the least commonly mentioned users of the stochastic indicator. Earlier, I mentioned that many traders merely use the stochastic indicator as an overbought or oversold indicator. Instead of using it in the ways I prescribed in this video, their reaction is to buy at the oversold region and sell at the overbought region. A smarter way to use the stochastic indicator is to use it to identify momentum and trend continuation plays. Do be mindful that the stochastic indicator is still a lagging indicator after all and thus you will need to combine it with price action or other tools in order to filter the signals. Hopefully you found value from this video. As always, if you benefited from this video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Click the notification icon so you won't miss any of our new videos. Do leave us a like to support this channel. Thanks for watching and make sure you download your free day trading guide via the link in the description below.